Returning to the moon is a formidable challenge, but NASA seems to be making it even more daunting. Remember the Lunar Gateway? You wouldn't be alone if you've forgotten, as it's still in the planning stages, with its exact purpose remaining somewhat unclear. Recent evaluations have uncovered serious issues with this project, starting with its fundamental functions. Its development is also tied to the Space Launch System, SLS, a rocket notorious for delays, high costs, and technical problems. So, is it time to abandon the gateway and consider SpaceX's Starship as a solution? We'll delve into this topic in today's episode of NR Studio. Thank you for subscribing to our channel. Support us by subscribing. We really need support from all of you so that we can grow. Okay, let's start with the speaker's topic. Now back to the Lunar Gateway, originally known as the Deep Space Gateway during the Obama administration and later rebranded as the Lunar Orbital Platform Gateway. It is designed to orbit the moon in an elliptical path and act as a gateway to the lunar surface. Astronauts will dock at the gateway and transfer to the Human Landing System, HLS, for the final leg to the moon's surface. Once their mission is complete, the HLS will return to the gateway, where the crew will switch back to Orion for their journey home. The gateway was initially slated for a 2022 launch, but that's been pushed back. According to a recent GAO report, NASA now expects the Gateway's first component to launch no earlier than December 2027, with an estimated cost of over $5 billion. It's currently planned to be part of the Artemis IV mission, scheduled for September 2028. However, delays mean the Gateway might miss this timeline, impacting its ability to support the Artemis IV mission. Technical issues are also significant. The Gateway faces challenges with stacking control capabilities, crucial for maintaining its orbital alignment when large vehicles like Starship dock. The sheer size of Starship could impact the Gateway's stability, potentially disrupting communications and docking processes. NASA is exploring solutions, such as having spacecraft use their thrusters to share control responsibilities with the Gateway's propulsion system. The Gateway is envisioned as a stepping stone for future Mars missions, serving as a staging area. Yet its ability to support such missions could be compromised by current difficulties. Designed for a 15-year lifespan, it could face obsolescence as Mars missions ramp up. Moreover, a faulty network chip threatens to disrupt communications across the gateway, risking control loss. Despite initial plans to use SpaceX's Falcon Heavy for early launches, most of the gateway will be sent up by SLS in the late 2020s and early 3030s. While Falcon Heavy has proven reliable, SLS has been plagued with high costs and limited launch frequency. SLS was designed in the early 2000s, a time when reusability was more theoretical than practical. Despite promises of cost savings by reusing space shuttle hardware, SLS has ended up billions over budget. NASA's focus on SLS has led to cuts in other valuable exploration programs, resulting in a rocket that has flown only once as of 2022. Scheduled launches for 2024 have been canceled, and ongoing quality control issues could further delay Artemis IV. With estimated costs for the SLS Block 1B nearing $5.7 billion, $700 million over budget, NASA's insistence on using SLS despite its problems hinders progress on lunar surface activities. The feasibility of integrating SLS launches for gateway assembly is questionable at best. A potential alternative emerged in April 2021 when NASA selected SpaceX's Starship as the lunar lander. Starship, being larger and capable of many functions of the Gateway, raises the question, if NASA is serious about lunar exploration, why invest in a decade-long, multi-billion dollar Gateway project? The Gateway's purpose, especially with the ISS and upcoming commercial space stations, is increasingly debatable. If a lunar space station is deemed necessary for Mars missions, it might be worth reconsidering and potentially postponing the Gateway project to clear the way for immediate lunar goals. Will NASA, Congress, or the White House be willing to reconsider and possibly cut the Gateway project? The answer could define our commitment to deep space exploration and our leadership in returning to the moon. That wraps up today's episode. Thank you for watching and see you next time.